Now for this last part of the question, I've updated this with the equation of the curve we found earlier. And we've got to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point P in the form AX plus BY plus C equals zero. Now to do any question like this, what I'd encourage you to do is to draw a sketch, a sketch of your graph, just so that you can get a feel for the problem. But I often get students saying to me, but I don't know what the sketch of the graph looks like. Well, that really doesn't matter. Not for something like this anyway at the moment. Just take your point P, which is at 4, 5. Let's say we go 4 across and 5 units up. There we go. Put a point there. That's the point P then with coordinates 4, 5. And we've got some curve. We don't know what the curve looks like. I'm not really interested in knowing what it looks like. So let's just pretend it looks, say, something like this through that point P. Now, when we're looking for the equation of a tangent, we're looking for a line that passes through that point there and just touches the curve. And any line has the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the line and on the curve. And it has to be 4, 5. x1 will be 4, y1 will be 5. We've just got to find out m, the gradient of the tangent at this point. And the gradient of the tangent, we should know, is the same as the gradient of the curve at that point. And we've got the gradient of the curve at any general point given by dy by dx. So that's our starting point. What we need to do is just substitute when x is 4 into dy by dx, and that will give us the gradient of the tangent at this point. So let's start by saying that when x equals 4, when x equals 4, dy by dx, the gradient, then becomes 3 times 4 minus 5 over the square root of 4 minus 2. And if we work that out, what we've got here is 12 minus 5 divided by 2 minus 2. And you should find you get 15 over 2. Better left as that, not 7 and a half, okay? 15 over 2. Leave your fractions as top heavy. Okay, so we've got everything we need now to get the equation of the tangent. So, therefore, let's just put a little intro here. Therefore, the equation of the tangent, okay, at P, okay, and just write is, not equals, okay? We'll drop to a new line here and we'll put y minus y1, y1 there being the 5, equals m, the gradient, which is 15 over 2, multiplied by x minus x1. So that'd be x minus the 4. So that's basically the equation of the tangent, but we need it in this particular form. So the best thing we could do here now is to multiply both sides by 2. So therefore we would get 2y here, minus 2 fives are 10. And when it comes to multiplying this side by 2, the 2 will cancel, just leaving us with 15 bracket x minus 4, which if we expand is going to give us 15x minus 60. Now if we want this in the form then, of ax plus by plus c equals zero, starting with a positive x term, then we've got the 15x, but we're going to need to subtract 2y from both sides and also add 10 to both sides. So minus 60 plus 10 is minus 50, and that will equal zero. And there's your form of the equation of the tangent in that particular form. All right?